mostly this month I've been feeling like I got some strength back in it. Um, I can close my hand comfortably again. The flow of my hand feels like it's going back to normal. There's only been a very short period of time, but I've been noticing it gradually and the pain is gone. Hey, Karen, thanks so much for coming to spend time with me today. Hi, how are you, Tracy? I, I am. Uh, I'm, I'm good. Great. Awesome. Well, I love your beautiful smile and I'm looking forward to hearing your story. So can you start off by telling us a little bit about how you were feeling prior to coming to QHS? Yes. Um, prior to coming to QHS, um, I had been... Uh, I actually had a lot of um, a lot of nerve pain in my um, right arm. I had an injury from um, a work injury, and um, I had um, and it, it was it pretty much took away um, the grip in my right hand. I'm right hand dominated, and um, I actually worked as a nurse. So being that in that profession really um, caused a lot of changes I had to make in my career. Um, so, um, you know, along with that, having that disappointment, um, bringing that confidence down, um, a lot of other things. So I had a lot of... Um, um, attempt like tried to heal it myself it just wasn't um getting it only got to a certain point um so um and I also had um some other other things um going on um you know um, allergies um um my family line has a whole lot of allergies um and um so the seasonal stuff was really, you know, significant. So, um, I, you know, I guess I, I have a list of things I probably could say I've been improving. I didn't really realize until after being on it. And, um, so, um, the last, I guess most of it has to do with the healing of my arm. Um, and well, when did you get your device, Karen? I got my device in April um, of this year. Um, so the formats. Yes. Okay. And the first month was very, um, I had a lot of pain initially and that nerve pain. Um, and I just stuck with it. I um, just kept going. I um, just worked through it. Um, I realized I was hearing how the device can cause that initially and that healing part because it's waking up everything. Um, so you're going to reverse. It's almost like a reverse, a reverse from um, the injury um, part and what happened. Like, I almost feel like everything was just winding back, backwards to that point. Um, and so the pain I was feeling was the pain I had initially, you know, the aching uh -huh. and everything. And then... Um, Literally, um, I would say mostly this month, I've been feeling like I got some strength back in it. Um, I can close my hand comfortably again. And uh -huh. um, I, it, I, my, like the flow of my hand feels like it's going back to normal. There's only been a very short period of time, but I've been noticing it gradually and the pain is gone gone out of my arm entirely the aching I, I mean even after like I would notice it would go all the way up my arm and hit me on the opposite side of my neck um like a crick in my neck when I used my arm too much um and now oh, that doesn't happen how long did that pain last when you got your device initially um it pretty much was there aching like every day. I, I would say, um, I probably also took, 
I would say I complimented um, that pain relief with a little turmeric and curcumin um, and, you know, and maybe even, you know, um, my, my anti-inflammatories. So I don't want to like advertise for other people. Oh, but no, that's all good. No, it's all good. It's, it's, it's okay. like a helper, right? Like, it's yeah. not like we want you to go and eat McDonald's and drink Coca-Cola and think that your device is going to do everything for you, you know? So we want to meet it where it, where we should. So that's all good. But how I'm wondering, because I feel like that's a Herxine, right? You had the Herxine with that pain coming back and then going away. Did it last like a week, two weeks, a month? How long was it? I would say that first, I would say about the first two months, really. Um, it got better, but it wasn't completely gone. And I would still get that crick in my neck from using my hand too much. Like if I was doing any kind of heavy lifting with it. Um, okay. Yeah. It would come back and then it shut me down for like, oh, like the whole next day. Um, and then how long has it been completely gone? Well, I just moved my daughter <laughs> and like boxes and boxes. And that was this last weekend. Nothing. I got <laughs> no pain. I was like, yeah. <laughs> perfect so it's really good um I feel like that's a huge benefit a really short amount of time being on this um for that amount of relief and I am just so grateful so um yeah um and the only thing is I do notice now I I'm getting like I don't know if this is normal or not but I have like, I get, my head gets itchy and I don't know if it's my hair follicle, they're like waking up, you know, or, um, and, and you know, the, there's some other things I, I would like to see happen and change yet. So I had COVID, um, I think I never tested positive, um, but um, I had COVID, um, back in 2021 um, um, in the fall and I lost like all my my sense of smell um, and um, a lot of you know that whole aspect of things so that some of it has come back with some of the anti-inflammatory treatment and stuff like that um, some of it isn't where it used to be and I don't know if that's just normal changes that are occurring today or if it's something you know that is um a dampening um mm -hmm. you know um i love smelling um beautiful things so and when covid hit when after that happened my smell completely changed like opposite so um and i'm hoping that that maybe will have a little impact of return. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I was sick in January for the first time in like five years, like never even a cold. And I don't know what I had also, cause I would never test. Um, but it started with laryngitis and that's exactly what I had five years prior. Um, but I was pretty sick for like over a week and, but I never lost my, my sense of smell or my sense of taste or any of that. So who knows what it was, but you know, I mean, I feel like getting sick is good because it gives our body the chance to purge whatever it doesn't, you know, that's not supporting it. Um, I will say though, my, my smell, my sense of smell has changed since I've been on the device. And this is interesting. <laughs> so I used to smell like, like everything like rotting. Now, I smell um, soap. I smell <laughs> clean. <laughs> so it's okay. I'm good with that. <laughs> if that's how it's just cleaning up my system right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, if you're going to smell something, you want to smell something pleasant, right? Not something <laughs> rotting. That sounds pretty bad. <laughs> Did you notice anything like mentally, emotionally, spiritually with your device? Um, 
<clears throat> initially, spiritually, um, I didn't, in, I would say, not so much right away. Um, maybe now, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to probably have a tickle in my throat. <laughs> talking too much. <laughs> um, I would say I've always had um, a very strong connection um, to into things, I guess. Um, <clears throat> I can say that um, my, I feel like I, in my, maybe with the, I do sleep with the device under my pillow. <clears throat> And there have been times I try and wear it 24 seven. There have been times I've noticed I'm in that right. And I, all of a sudden I feel like <clears throat> I'm a little more emotional. Um, and um, I look and like, oh, my device kind of, <laughs> it needed recharging. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> but usually I can, I, I, I initially tried to see if there was a difference. So I would not wear it for like a 24 hour period to see what happened. Um, and I definitely um, can feel that difference uh, between wearing it and not wearing it. I should try that. That's a good <laughs> idea. And it usually has to do with my emotional level, what I can handle and how I think about it. Um, that whole stepping back um, to take it in um, just a little bit differently before responding. I feel like I, I'm more in control um, of taking that step back and seeing it as a whole thing. So, um, and it gives me a little time to think about things before I say them. Are you in key? Am I in what? The key project. Um, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh gosh, girl, you, you would love it. Everything you're saying is just like what they teach in that key project that Christine leads, Christine and Laura. Okay. Um, you got to check it out when you have a moment. It's pretty good. It's on the new website under the main menu. You can find it, okay. but I missed this last week, but their, their teachings are just beautiful. So yeah, but what you just said is something that they would say. Mm -hmm. So cool. Awesome. <laughs> I'm yeah. just very grateful to be given this opportunity, you know, um, and I am I just, it's really beyond, you know, words for me. I'm just grateful. Um, I thank you. I thank Cynthia for all this and you know and everyone who contributes it's it's wonderful that's um, a great team yeah it is. so but now we have an important question mm -hmm. is pretty soon we're gonna be able to use the qr and have healthy 30 year old bodies <laughs> what do you what makes you excited with that whole possibility um i actually it's it's, it's amazing um, possibility and um, actually I believe it's more of a reality yeah uh, so um, um, I, I think it's just important that you know we uh, we restore what what really God intended for us so um, you know that's important um, so that we can help others heal. Um, that's, that's, you know, and, and it's just, it's really, truly um, a, a loving, a loving thing. And um, what better way to share your heart and, you know, in your spirit. So um, I am excited and I hope it wakes up more people um, to the reality of, of what God really intended, you know? So, mm -hmm. oh yeah. What, what are you going to do? You have a healthy 30 year old body. 
So I'm assuming it's, you know, you're a little bit over 30 if you helped your daughter move. Um, so <laughs> what are you going to do with this, with this new, this redo? You get a do over, you get to do yeah, life over. I, and that's exactly what I'm going to do it is a redo and I'm going to do all those things that um, I I didn't get a chance to do yet and or all those things that I maybe was discouraged um, um, you know and now knowing that there's so much more um, opportunity and, and life and really what you know just being given um, the ability to, to do this is um, is great um, gosh I it's time for me to take a few more steps out into another great journey. So um, smell the roses, climb a tree, um, <laughs> you know, um, gosh, maybe even fly. Um, and um, I mean, there's so many opportunities, um, it just, like there's there's just an open door so when you say fly it makes me think of dr alfredo's um, <laughs> anti-gravity vehicle have you seen it i i you know what i would love to to just ride along <laughs> yeah that's gonna be awesome i can't wait i live in the bay area are you kidding the traffic is ridiculous <laughs> wouldn't it be fun to be the one of one of those people who to just like for those that aren't really awake and just whiz on right by them. <laughs> oh, I will be. <laughs> I'm the only admin down here, so I will be. It'll be kind of fun. Yeah, <laughs> you know. It would be. Yeah. So <laughs> that's um, awesome. I, I look forward to those moments. So, and if I can live another hundred years, two hundred years, you know, I do it. Um, yeah, we have a lot of work to do. Karen, I mean, we got to roll up our sleeves and get busy. Yep. Yep. It is time. <laughs> yes. It's past time. Awesome. So what would you like to say in closing, my dear? Well, in closing, I would say that, um, um, I, this is kind of one of those things that, um, I want to say how thankful I am and grateful. And I would love if more people stepped into this journey. Um, and I want to bring um, just um, really, truly the best times to come with this. And I want to participate in any way that I can um, to make that happen. And um, being part of this is, uh, it's, it's really, it, it, it's hard, I guess, I don't know. It's like this new, like new stepping into this new self, new life. And, um, and being that that person to you know step up into your your if it's your dreams or your 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 calling, um, I'm just I'm just so grateful and I I think it's just I I actually was a ballroom dancer and for um, eleven years in my life and it's time to dance again. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking yep it's time to dance so um i just want to you know i i i i, I want to be part of this and i want to see this succeed and um i don't see how it can and we're going to be needing medical professionals so you're in a really good place if you want to <laughs> participate with that you know what i mean yeah yeah that cool. would actually, that is one of those areas that I really, um, I actually see myself in. So, and um, just, 
you know, I love um, that integral part of people um, and helping see them through um, their tough times um, and, um, and bringing them to even better times. Yeah, it's going to be just so amazing. And we are the foundation on which this entire organization is being built on and there's so we have so much work to do so will you come back post qr and do part two video with me karen i would love to <laughs> awesome i look forward to that and i would just want to thank you so much for coming to hang out with me you're an absolute doll and i so appreciate you thank you tracy and it's been a pleasure have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, hun. Bye All for right. now. Thank you for making this QHS project fly. This Valorous admin team, thank you. The key community welcomes you. Thank you for making your home QHS healthy and happy. Thank you for helping us place QH centers all around the world. Together, hand in hand, we make miracles happen. QuantumHealingSystems.org Thank you.